Oh my God, there is so much going on in the news today. Look, page eight, SAC CIA chief hired Oswald to kill Kennedy. There we go. Confirmed CIA conspiracy on page eight because there's so much happening. We'll just go to page five. Ukraine a top priority for quad leaders. So the biggest leaders in the world are currently discussing what to do about the Ukraine-Russia conflict because that's obviously brewing into World War III. So can you imagine what is on page three today? Let's see, let's see. No joy for trolled MP in battle with Google. Well, David Pemberton from The Australian, that is news that is clearly five-eighths more important than a CIA coup against the president. Your friend from Adelaide is angry that comments were said about her from a year ago. Well, this is breaking news about something that not even we care about anymore, and we're one of the main participants in this story. But we dropped it because it's not news for us. You are so low on the food chain, Nicole, that you don't even get clicks. That's what you should be angry about, not my comments. The fact that you've been in Parliament for six years with all of this coverage in the press and still you're not a draw. Anyway, let's see what you're upset about. Hint, it's exactly the same thing she's been upset about for the past year. Retiring Liberal MP Nicole Flint has revealed her largely fruitless battle with Google to take action over two YouTube videos by left-wing blogger Friendly Geordies. This, by the way, in the same day that The Australian released the article, Rogan banned a sign of elite's reluctance to allow free speech. You gotta love this. The vast majority of articles you see about tech giants shutting down free speech comes from the Murdoch press, and yet here they are saying, on the same day, typical of these tech giants trying to shut down free speech. Now, why aren't they shutting down the free speech of Jordan Shanks, who pissed off one of our lackeys that does our bidding? What don't you understand, Google? It's freedom of speech when it doesn't impinge on Murdoch's business interests. Jesus Christ, look it up in the dictionary. Can you imagine working at News Corp? You know how they're always trying to sell it as this wonder dream factory working in the media? Well, it's kind of like a dream factory. It's a cognitive dissonance factory. Wow, this is so good for my self-respect. No, it isn't. You got it. This is exactly how I pictured my life at 50. Is it? No. Ms. Flint, who's quitting her Adelaide seat of Boothby at the election on the account of the harassment she's faced, or it's because she can't win her seat back because it's marginal and maybe she's unpopular. Who knows? Oh, you do, because you did the polling the other day. Yep, she's unpopular. Has documented her fight with the tech giant in a highly personal submission to Parliament. Now that's an extremely local member. One f***ing person. The submission to the Select Committee on Social Media and Online Safety outlines the social media abuse she suffered following two videos posted last year by Geordies. Last year, one was in mid-2020, in which he called the MP more transactional than herpes, the lowest form of life, and a whiny little bitch with no morals, convictions, or care. Yeah, that's what we need from the party of free speech, a law to stop you saying that politicians have no morals, convictions, or care. That's what she's submitting to the select committee, that there should be a law against me saying that. And by me, I mean you, but you know what I'm saying. In the same video, Shanks depicted ABC 730 host Lee Sales as a rat. And you ready for the hypocrisy that is going to blow having the Joe Rogan article out on the same day? You ready for this? Isn't this f***ing amazing? Editor's pick, front page of the Australian online. There is a quiz outlining the greatest insults in political history, where number three is calling a politician rat-like. Same day. Rat-like, one of the greatest insults in political history, while also advocating for a law to be against calling people in political circles rat-like. No wonder the top of the Australian has mind games on it.
And the next paragraph is even worse. This is where they ask me for comment a few hours before publishing. I'll give them credit. It's a lot better than the Telegraph that does it a few f***ing minutes before. Has Mr. Shank seen the comments his videos attracted and is he comfortable with them? Does he have a view about Ms. Flint trying to have the videos taken down? This is important. I'm going to compare my comment with what David Pembethy wrote because they're two very different things. It doesn't matter what I say, you're just gonna twist it, but the coalition are launching an unprecedented attack on freedom of speech, and even worse, Nicole Flynn is abusing her public office in a disgusting attempt to ban public interest criticism of her awful decisions. Regarding the comments, which I'm unaware of the contents of, as you didn't even bother to send them to me, are you, David, accountable for all the comments posted in relation to your journalism? This slimy piece of shit writes that as, Shanks on Monday night dismissed Ms. Flink's submission as a disgusting, that is the only word of that paragraph that made it to print. Attack on freedom of political speech and said he was not aware of any of the comments to which she referred. What comments? You didn't provide them, Dave. Even after I specifically pointed out you didn't provide them, you just posted that there's all these outrageous comments in the article that you didn't show a single example of, nor did Nicole Flint in her 60-page submission to Parliament. You think if she's outraged by being called a hobo and a bag lady, she thinks that that's vile sexist abuse, she'd include one of these extremely menacing, damaging comments that have destroyed her fragile being one, but she didn't. What we have to just accept is, they include, for example, attacks on my appearance, show one ugly. You think you're the only person in history to have their appearance attacked online? I'll give you this, you might be the only person in history to try and change Commonwealth law over it. Vile attacks of a sexual nature. Freeze frame for a second. I can't imagine how weak these comments must be when she defines the following comments that I've said as being sexist that she starts with. This is how I am started in the submission. I shit you not, it's the Homer bad man joke. Word for word. I've never met nor had any contact with Mr. Shanks Margavina, but <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't go on. Your tears say more than real evidence ever could. Anyway, here's the comment. Liberal MP slash professional nodding machine and text doesn't convey just how menacing that was. I also showed footage of her nodding. Ooh, I'm stalking her. Oh, another stalker. And this one isn't even dead. Here's another banger. This is sexist according to Nicole Flint. Despite being the beneficiary of $1.7 million in sports rorts grants. So what? Morrison should only rort public money for men? Is that what you're saying? Also, how good is this? You are one of the worst human beings in the country. A more gender-targeted insult I have never heard. You nut. I am getting attacked by you for calling women chimps, but I'm also getting attacked for calling them human beings. Make up your fucking mind. What are you then, extraterrestrial beings? No. Goddesses. Anyway, to get to the point of the article, which is what the Coalition and the Murdoch Press have been angling for for a year, which is to shut down the internet so you can't talk anymore. Despite repeated requests to Google, they have refused to remove the video from YouTube, claiming that the video did not meet the threshold for removal under YouTube's community guidelines. This is the point. This is what her submission is about. This is what this article is about. Isn't it disgusting? From both the party and the paper that have put their entire identity around protecting free speech, that there are no laws from stopping plebs from expressing themselves. It was only cool when we were allowed to do it. This is even Google saying, Nicole, get the f over it, and may I just say, congrats. I've really got to point this out, that this company is constantly trying to paint Google as the one shutting down free speech. When if you look at it, when the shoe is on the other foot, that is exactly what they try and do because they want to go back to the old model of only them having the capacity to allow who gets to say what and when. Google gives everyone a voice and clearly that's not acceptable. 
David and Nicole Flint, article after article. Oh, here's something that you blue checks would understand. Are you obsessed with me? This is what they are expecting, right? And it's because we cottoned onto your game because you're just not that sophisticated of players. You're clearly angling for us to say something that you can even pretend is defamatory to get it into the courts because you want an even bigger retirement package than you're already gonna get, Nicole. We know that that's your game. That's why we just thought, nah, we're not even gonna bother with you because you have very little importance in your retiring, but you just kept nipping. This is what this article is about because you got no bites whatsoever. But Nicole, we're not gonna give you what you want. If you wanna sue someone, you're gonna have to look in the mirror because all we've done with you is point out your f***ed voting record over and over again, and that's what we will continue to do. And I'm very, very glad that you're getting no joy from it. In summary, Pembo finishes off this article by claiming that I ridiculed Nicole Flint's comments. You know, the comments that I didn't know existed. I assume that that's what he means by my response that he whittled down to one f***ing word and then finishes with Shanks, who also said he did not believe he could get a fair hearing in the Australian. Unbelievable. I gave Nicole Flint paragraph after paragraph while giving Shanks one word and mangling the meaning of it. Well, we got Christo to call him to ask him why he did that. Enjoy. Hello, Joe speaking. Penbo, it's Christo from Friendly Geordies. I'm uh, just recording this phone call because we just need to get some questions about your, uh, about your article, today's article on the record. Is that okay? Who is it, Who is it mate? Christo from Friendly Geordies. Oh, no, mate, I'm not going to get involved, sorry. What? No, 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 no. You, you got involved by doing, like, what, five, three articles on Jordan? Come on, you can answer some I, questions. I you didn't, you, we just want to, we just wanted to give you a chance to correct. Can you just include his quote? No, 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 you, you, no, we, we responded, but you didn't include any of the responses. Yeah, no. No, you didn't. I'll, I'll, I'll sit this out. I'm no, 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 just, 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 just let me ask you. Just let me ask you, why didn't you include the responses we gave? We gave you two sentences and you didn't include, like you concluded one word. I did did include the response. No, you said Jordan, you said Jordan ridiculed. No, no, no. You said Jordan ridiculed, uh, uh, Jordan ridiculed Nicole's comments, which there was no ridiculing in his quote. And you said, uh, Yeah, and well, you didn't well, put you, 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 you didn't put that in. You put it in yeah. wrong. You you no, only put in the well, word well, you only put in the well, word disgusting well, verbatim. Why didn't you include Jordan's quote? Yeah, you well, made I it your own. Give it for my kids. So um, yeah, but yeah, David, but David, you said today. you sent us this these questions at about this time yesterday. So surely, like yeah. that's a bit of a weird standard. We have to answer these questions at this time, but you can't like like correct the record no, after it's smearing it's us on the. Well, no, no, come on, David, David, come on, just stay on the phone. No, no, can we just... Hello, Dave speaking. David, it's Christo again. Can you please just, like, get some, hey, get mate, some no, answers no, no, on the it, record? I made, it, I made it totally clear. I've got nothing more to say to you, okay? Why? No, you do. You're going to do more articles. You can... <laughs> Please share and comment below. Come in.